He started to engage in professional sports at the age of 27. An accident that resulted in the amputation of his leg changed the life of this active young guy, but it did not break his morale. His occupation became his hobby, favorite job, and at the same time, it brought him worldwide recognition. But the main thing is that he has already realized his potential, and now he helps other people to find their place in sports. Captain and coach of the Ukrainian national sitting volleyball team, president of the Slavutic Sports Rehabilitation Club, best sitting player of the Europe 2011, and a silver medalist of the Para Volleyball European Championship 2017. Please welcome the hero of our program, Serhii Shevchenko. Zodiac sign, Libra. Eye color, green. Favorite season, summer. Serhii Shevchenko was born in Kanev on the bank of the Dnipro River. He has been engaged in sports since his childhood. He did not have enough time to study in school, but his teachers understood him because Serhii defended the honor of his school. When I studied in school, I was not expelled because I took part in different school sports competitions. I even was not asked about other subjects. But speaking the truth, I never liked volleyball. I was not interested in sport at all, but when this accident happened in my life, first I wanted to play football, but this meant that I would have to run as an amputee on crutches. So I began playing volleyball purely by accident. I immediately took a liking to volleyball. When Sir he was 25, he lost his leg. He underwent several surgeries and rehabilitation in Irpin, near Kiev. There he attended training of sitting volleyball players for the first time. One of the players of the team, Petro Ostrovsky, admitted that he did not believe in the abilities of a newcomer. I remember very well the day that I first met Sir he in the gym. Speaking the truth, very few people believe that he would become a good volleyball player. He went through a very difficult period in his life, and he had never played volleyball before that. As a rule, it is very difficult for people that never played volleyball to achieve high results in sitting volleyball. That said, if someone wants desperately to achieve a specific goal in life, they will definitely achieve that goal. Serhii Shevchenko has strong leadership skills, so he never allowed himself to play in significant role. He and his team set a goal of winning. Otherwise, why did they spend so much time at training sessions and competitions far away from their home and families? First, I took part in the European Championship in 2003. I took 10th place out of 12 teams. In 2005, we took 10th place out of 12 teams again. We were ashamed. But later, everything changed. We were trained by another coach and took 5th place at the next European Championship. We lost only two games, having played against teams which took 2nd and 3rd place at the European Championship. In 2011, Serhii Shevchenko was recognized the best setter at the European Championship, though he admits that he feels more comfortable in another position. Honestly speaking, I do not like making passes. I prefer to be a forward. But it happened that I became a setter. It does not matter whether I like it or not. I have to take into consideration the needs of the entire team. I should do what benefit my team as a whole. Everyone on the team has his own professional skills. We united all of our abilities and created a team. Every position in of players has its strong and weak points. We try to play to the best of our strength and show our skills. It's all about teamwork. The Ukrainian para-volleyball men's national team gained an opportunity to participate in the Paralympic Games in Rio 2016 after the Russian national team had been disqualified three weeks before the game. It took fifth place out of eight teams. The strongest teams from Iran and Bosnia-Herzegovina were competitors for the Ukrainians in a subgroup. Though the Ukrainian team failed to beat them, it gained good experience and the desire to fight for medals. Our main goal is to take part in these Paralympic Games. If we succeeded to take fifth place in Rio, I think we're capable of making it to the top three in Tokyo because our team is very good, thanks to Serhii. Sporting Dream The Paralympic Games in Tokyo and medals. Love When you feel good with people who are close to you. Happiness When everything is good in your family. Ukrainian Paralympic volleyball players were a step away from a medal at the Continental Championships three times in a row. They lost matches for third place with a score of 3-2. to two. 
but finally, in November 2017, the team managed to overcome the bad luck, win its first medal for the first time in 20 years. The team took second place at the European Championship held in the Croatian city Poreć. Russians became the champions and the Bosnians won the bronze medal. Ukraine was moving towards this goal for 30 long years. Para volleyball started developing in Ukraine already in 1988. And just imagine the long way the Ukrainian team had to go to win the medals. It is very hard work. A lot of generations of volleyball players have changed since that time. But I'm very glad that I stood at the origins of Ukrainian volleyball. I thank the guys that helped me to become a silver medalist of the European Championship. We would like to achieve higher results. We want to go to the championship and win. It was a great thrill when we took second place. It is very pleasant for me that I also contributed to this victory. But the medal is more a merit of the entire team than that of an individual player. One gives instructions and others follow them. There are two types of coaches, the one who keeps his feelings to himself and the one who shouts out loud at the players to control the team's tactics in order to win. Without a doubt, Serhii Shevchenko belongs to the second type. During the training in a gym of the Borispol Sports School, one can easily hear the loud voice of Serhii, who shouts at the players for their mistakes. Serhii is a man of iron. His word is the law. Thanks to him, our team achieved very impressive results. He's not an angry person. Sir, he is who he is. He is a true man. If he gives instructions, everyone has to follow them. Yes, of course, he swears at us. But after practice, there are no problems. Despite his temperamental behavior, he gives us a lot of good advice. And we're not aggrieved or upset because all of us are here for the sake of victory, as if we're serving in the army, meaning that his orders are final. But this is somewhat of an exaggeration. In the gym it is more intense than in the army. Favorite movie genre? Perhaps a thriller. Favorite actor? Bruce Willis. Favorite city? Kyiv is the best city. When Serhii Shevchenko just started playing volleyball, 8 to 11 teams took part in the Ukrainian championship. Now there is only one team of the Kyiv Sports Rehabilitation Club Slavutich, and this is the composite of the national team of Ukraine. It was very difficult to maintain and preserve the sport of sitting volleyball in Ukraine. Thanks to guys from Donetsk, Dnipro and Kharkiv, we succeeded in preserving the core of the team. First of all, this is to say he's married, because he showed his excellent organizational and coaching skills. He managed to attract sponsors and put together a very serious team. I think he put his efforts forward so that this team would give its best performance in order to win the medals. Serhii Shevchenko himself considers that the recipe for success of the team is the friendly collective, one for all and all for one. A person who plays a team sport has to interact with other players, and in particular, in volleyball. In football, a player can take the ball, do some fancy footwork around the opponent and score a goal. In comparison with football, in volleyball you can't play alone. After all, it is a team sport. If you play your teammates, you have to trust them, and they have to trust you. Otherwise, you will not achieve the highest performance results in the game. The rules of the game in para volleyball are slightly different from the classic volleyball. There are two teams. Each team consists of six players and six pairs. About two persons of 12 players can be disabled once. Only one of them can come out to play on a volleyball court. During a game, players can touch the court, but it is bent to get up and make steps. We can also block passes, but in general we have the same rules. Para volleyball differs from volleyball because we are not allowed to jump. If you touch someone during an offensive, standing on blocks is banned. 
It is possible during a training session when players are enthusiastic in the game and nobody pays attention to such violations of the rules. But at the competition, these violations are strictly controlled. To play sitting volleyball is very hard work and requires many years of training and having a good physical form. What does it take for normal, healthy and physical able people to play para volleyball? Alexander Trapak joined the team two years ago and became one of the ex-players who got in with athletes with problems of the muscular skeletal system. When guys say to me, there is nothing difficult in playing para volleyball, I always reply to them, let's try to do that. They try, but none of them succeed in playing. Other guys attended our trainings and saw how we played. We need people with traumas who could join our team. Athletes who came to watch our trainings were professional sportsmen, masters of sports, but none of them could start playing sitting volleyball. It is very hard work. The first competition in which the Ukrainian para volleyball national team will participate in 2018 will take place in April in Iran. Currently, the Ukrainian team has a training camp in Borispol, where it plays with para volleyball players from Latvia. It is difficult to achieve high results without playing with sparring partners. That's why we're glad that athletes from Latvia came to Ukraine. This is beneficial for both sides because the para volleyball world championship will take place this year in the Netherlands. It is also very good for us because it gave us an opportunity to play with another team. This year in April we will go to the World Championship in Iran. We made it into the top six of para volleyball teams. This is a good tournament. We are not afraid of Iranian and Russian teams and do not pay attention to them. All the others are worthy competitors. After training, Sir Hishevchenko hurries home to see his girls, his wife Tatiana and daughters, 9-year-old Maria and 5-month-old Uliana. He also has two sons from previous marriages, but they do not share their father's enthusiasm for volleyball. Nowadays, kids have quite different interests. I tell them about volleyball and send them to a swimming pool, but they do not have a desire to engage in such sports. I place all my hopes on our youngest daughter. Maybe she will not become a volleyball player or a swimmer, but I know for sure that she will become an athlete in some other sport. He met his wife Tatiana for the first time in Borispol. He simply passed by her and suddenly... I must admit that I could pass by without noticing her. We met in the street. I passed by, he saw me and called. After that, he offered me to go for a cup of coffee. I liked him. I was not in a rush, as I was waiting for my daughter. So I did not refuse his offer to have a coffee. There are very few men like Sir He. Speaking the truth, let others not be offended, but Sir He is the best man in the world for me. We came to see the Shevchenko family on March 8th. Although it was a holiday, our hero had two trainings. They waited for the head of the family at home for lunch. We prepared muffins because Sir He has a sweet tooth. We cherish him because he is the only man in our family. Three females have to cherish and love our father. Hi, how goes it? Help us bake muffins. What smells so delicious here? Will you help us? I can't do that. Oh, of course you can. Do you like only eating? Yes, I like eating. First, we need to pour dough in molds. Masha, please help me. I'm waiting. I will fill the molds. Okay, now bake the muffins. And I will check out how Uliana is doing. At home, the strict coach and captain became so kind and sweet. Only trophies and medals of Sir He remind of his sports career. The rest of the space at home is occupied by handiwork of his wife and daughter. I embroidered the inscription Seroja on the occasion of Sir He's birthday. <laughs> Family friends and colleagues of Sir He know him as a man of his word. He's always ready to help everyone. One girl from the women's national team sustained a serious injury. 
She broke her hand and had to undergo an operation, so he visited her in the hospital and constantly called us to give his instructions. He fully believes in us and trusts us because he knows that all the same we will do our work even without his presence. Despite any hardships, we promised that we would achieve all the goals that he set for us. Serhii Shevchenko is a good example of how to withstand the blows of fate. He succeeded in achieving high results in sports and at the same time managed to find family happiness. The main thing is his desire to work on himself despite all the difficulties and follow the principle. If life gives you a lemon, make some lemonade to quench your thirst.